Warning, the following video features stunts performed by professional sea animals or under the supervision of professional sea animals. Accordingly, I'm Freaky and the producer on Freaky's channel must insist that no one attempt to recreate any stunt performed in this video. Thank you. Hey, what is going on dudes? My name is Freak and welcome to 2015. I'm just showing you guys the trip that I took on New Year's Eve with my girlfriend. We went from Milwaukee down to Chicago, which is about an hour and 37 minute drive, somewhere around that ballpark. And uh, right when we hit Chicago, traffic started getting crazy and uh, we couldn't really move and it took us a while to get there. It probably took us longer in the traffic to get there than from my house, uh, which was insane. And then we knew we were in Chicago because the drivers started driving like assholes. And uh, we almost got hit twice, which was horrible uh, because we were all going about 90 miles an hour until the traffic happened, so that kind of sucked. But what you're seeing on your screen right here is the Shed Aquarium Aquatic Show, I guess you would say. We got here right when the show was about to start, which is really cool. We were excited and all pumped up, uh, but then we ended up noticing that the show was a dumbed down version of SeaWorld. There was really no big thing that you wanted to see the show. Like, it wasn't like super exciting. There was no like you know, diving through flaming hoops. There wasn't any crazy jumps in the air where they almost hit the ceiling. It was nothing like that. Uh, there was some cool things where they do come out of the water like you guys will see right here. Um, that was probably the coolest thing out of the whole aquatic show um, <laughs> that we saw. And then otherwise, 20 minutes into the show, we were like, we should probably leave. We should probably leave, right? And then we ended up taking a stroll around and we found the dolphins up close. Wish I could have went over and touched them, but I probably would have fell in and drowned. So it, it wouldn't have been a good thing at all. Now, this is probably one of my most exciting things that I've seen at this shed aquarium. It was these jellyfish. Now, the jellyfish, there's something about jellyfish that look like this, that have that weird, wispy, cloudy-looking tail, and then, like, that orangey green glow to the top of it. It looks insane. And here's a little tidbit. I know a lot of you guys probably already know this, but there's a reason why uh, jellyfish are never found in a square tank. It's because if they did go in a square tank, they'd go in the corners and die. They would get trapped in there and they wouldn't be able to get out. So that's pretty funny. It's a little tidbit there. Also, there's this really weird type of jellyfish that I've never seen before. Illuminati confirmed they look like alien spaceships with electric pulse going through them. Jimmy fed the sharks again. <laughs> so this coolest thing about the Shed Aquarium was probably the shark exhibit. Uh, just seeing all these sharks that close to you and being able to almost touch them and feel like you're actually emerged underwater with them is the craziest. And uh, it, just, it just feels intense. And I have been to SeaWorld before with the tunnels where the sharks fly over you. Or not fly over you, but they swim over you. If they flew over you, then we'd have some problems and there would be sharks attacking the cities. And it'd be like Sharknado without the NATO. And then it would be a whole complicated issue that we'd have to solve out. But sharks are awesome, man. There's something about sharks that are just the coolest looking things ever. They could kill you. They could leave you alone. They're amazing. He's like, I hate my life. So next we head upstairs to the Amazon exhibit, which is really, really cool to see like piranhas and see what people in the Amazon or near the Amazon actually fish for. And it's just really cool to see these animals that up close without actually having to go to the Amazon, which is really, really unique. And uh, there's monkeys there. I don't even think they're called monkeys um, or even in the monkey family, um, but they look adorable in their faces. They look like Ewoks from Star Wars. And uh, shout out to Ewoks from Star Wars. You guys are awesome. They're, they're a tree for it even looks like an Ewok from Star Wars. So who knows? These are where Ewoks come from, kids. Now, the number one reason you don't want to visit the Amazon is because of these things. These are cockroaches in the Amazon. You want to go to the Amazon now? I didn't think so. So a thing that bothered me is there's a duck in this Amazon exhibit. I know there's probably ducks all over the world. And obviously, because they fly places and they have to migrate places to keep warm so they don't die or freeze in the winter. But it literally looks like they went outside in Wisconsin or wherever in Illinois. They took a duck and just placed it in here. That's what it looked like. So after the Amazon exhibit, we actually head over to the gift store and Hadley actually picked out that there's an LCD screen showing an eye of the octopus in the eye of the molded octopus. Why didn't they mold an eye on there? I don't know. It's a gift store. Who cares, right? You just go there to buy expensive toys. Lord. <laughs> I love those things. Oh my God, it's cool. Let's hurry up. Run, 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 run. 
So probably the coolest thing, but I didn't really get to pick up on, is how cool Chicago looks at at night. It looks insane. It looks breathtaking to the point where you're like, is this real life? This doesn't seem like it. Can I, can I go back and, you know, take this all in one more time? Uh, I really wish I had had a GoPro for this just to uh, show you guys how beautiful this is, but I had to use my camera on my phone, which isn't really too good, especially in low lighting, so it doesn't do the city justice. But Chicago in, in the nighttime looks beautiful. It looks breathtaking. You guys have to go there if you haven't already. So as we were driving back home through Chicago streets, I took this little video clip because I thought it was really cool and it reminded me of Watch Dogs, even though I never played Watch Dogs before. It reminded me of Watch Dogs and any other game that took place in Chicago. It just looks really breathtaking and just seeing all this stuff right in front of your face just reminds you that you are small in this really, really big world. Now, once we got back home, we actually took a little trip, a little run down memory lane that pretty much anyone in this area where I live in, Milwaukee or anything around there uh, they like to visit these lights on these lights are at some water park it's called like country springs in wisconsin and uh, they always have these little christmas lights that go on through the 24th through the 31st which is when we seen it and uh, it was really cool to go back down there because i haven't been there in about two or three years and uh, it was just very interesting to look at all this stuff and how people can be super creative with uh, christmas lights and uh, just you know have a good time and enjoy uh, the holiday season and uh, what it's all about so overall i had a really good time last night you know going down to chicago was it, it was a long trip and uh, we got through with it and uh, we actually made some stops i actually hit a lottery card i got a scratch off i won like 10 bucks for it if i would have had one more letter i would have won 50 grand so that would have been intense uh but i had a good time with hadley last night it just chilling relaxing and enjoying the new year's hopefully you guys did too let me know down below what did you guys do on christmas eve did you kiss a girl on new year's what happened uh on your new year's eve hopefully you guys are excited 2015 baby we are here and we are ready to stay hopefully you guys are as well if you're new around here hit that subscribe button share this video with the friends on twitter and facebook so they can check out this stuff during this whole thing when i was in chicago i was actually instagramming videos so if you guys want to go check out any other little sneak peek uh, pictures or videos uh they'll be on my instagram page of other videos that i didn't toss into this one uh so that's pretty cool and uh yeah so hope you guys did enjoy make sure to follow me on twitter and instagram and i guess i'll catch your freaky faces in 2015 Happy New Year's, guys. Hey, what's going on, dudes? My name is Freaky, and welcome to a breakdown of what we got leaked today for us uh, for the new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare DLC. This is going to be Map Pack 1 or DLC 1 or whatever.